I go into buildings and I inspect how they were constructed and I work on ways that they can improve their energy efficiency. My dad taught me basic math on an abacus when I was in preschool and um, I found it really exciting, I found it really interesting and I had no idea what I was getting into when I was leaving high school. It was kind of a flip of a coin that I even applied to the engineering school in the first place. My dad would order new furniture uh, to the house and couldn't put it together and have me assemble it and always make the joke, oh, you should be an engineer because you can put together a bookcase. And, and I've talked to so many people who ended up in engineering for the exact same reason. Somebody said, oh, you're good at assembling IKEA furniture, you should be an engineer. In my schooling and in my career, I've had so many opportunities that have been really fun. I've gotten to work on projects all over the world. I've worked in Central America, South America, I've worked in West Africa, I worked in New Zealand. I get to travel everywhere for the kinds of work I do because there are engineering systems everywhere and engineers are a rare enough breed that you can really sell yourself and say, oh, you do want to pay to fly me around the world because you're not going to find someone else that can do what I do. To be honest, I'm surprised there aren't more women in it. Engineering is a field where people don't judge you based on personal factors, on anything about you. Engineering is all about doing a good job, asking the right questions. Everything that's frustrating, everything that's challenging can be turned into a source of pride. Because especially when you're the only woman in a class or it's 10% you know, female, it, it, can be, it can be an opportunity for you. It can make you feel like you're doing something right that no one else is doing right. Once you get through those basic course requirements, all of a sudden you're working in a field that really requires a lot of creativity and a field that is really responsive to your abilities and your interests, not just who you are and where you came from. You shouldn't let one class or one subject even scare you away from a really difficult field, especially in middle school and in high school. What you think is math is not math. <laughs> when you get to college, math is completely different. It's actually much more artistic, in my opinion. What you learn in high school is all about the numbers, and then when you get to, when you get to math in college, you might see one number a year. It's, it's theoretical, it's visual, it's not what you were taught it is.